Hello Year 4 and welcome to Art with Mrs Badders. I hope you're all well. Uh, this week we are going to be doing some science art because you know I love science art and let's just see what we're going to be making today. Today we are going to be creating an underwater scene and this is what we're going to be doing. Okay so there are a few things that you are going to need and I'm sure you can find them all around home. Now, what do you think the first thing is that you're going to need if we're painting? Hmm. I know. Some paper. So I'm using watercolour paper, but you can use any paper that you would like, as long as it's white. You are also going to need, if you're painting, a paintbrush. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? You are going to need watercolours if you've got them if you don't have watercolors that's no problem at all you can use regular paint and then just water it down you are going to need if you have one a white oil pastel or a white wax crayon or because i'm full of ideas you can use a plain wax candle just ask mum and dad or whoever you live with you're also going to need a pencil you're going to need glue, you can use a print stick or PVA, you need a pair of scissors, be careful with them though, some water and some salt, as long as you haven't used it up all on your fish and chips, so make sure you save some. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to make sure is that the worktop that you're doing on is protected, okay, so I've just put a thick bit of paper down here. So you've got your bit of paper that you're going to be doing your work on. The trick with this kind of art is that everything is done fairly quickly in order for the science to happen. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to be drawing some waves. Now you're not going to be able to see them very clearly when you're doing it on the paper, but don't worry because all will be revealed. So. Once you've got your waves, then you can start to get your watercolours ready. If you haven't got watercolours, like I said before, that's absolutely fine. You can just use normal paint and water it down. I would go for blue tones and maybe turquoise ones because we're going to be making an underwater sea effect picture. So like I said, you need to remember that it's all about timing. The paint does need to be quite wet. Now I've gone for kind of an aquary colour and a dark blue there for my colours and what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to be painting across like this and as you'll see the waves have appeared or the current I would say because it's underwater isn't it. Now don't worry about your paper curling up a bit, it will curl up. What you can do, you can always get something to hold the bottom, the, the corners down, or you can just wait and it will go back to its normal shape after. Now, that is quite wet, that's absolutely fine. What we need now, and you need to be careful, make sure that you've got a grown up around you to supervise so you're not getting salt everywhere, even though you know how messy Mrs. Badley is, you need your salt. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to be pouring the salt on there and you'll see that it's distributed all over. Now what this salt's going to do is it's going to suck up some of the moisture out there and it's going to make a kind of dotted effect on the paper. Now what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to wait for that to dry now. It will take a few minutes but while you're waiting for it to dry, we can get on with something else. We can get on with creating some underwater animals and maybe some seaweed, because obviously our topic this half term is living things and their habitats. So let's crack on with that bit. Okay, so I'm gonna get on with drawing some underwater creatures and some seaweed. And then we're gonna use maybe some oil pastels or crayons if you have them, or you can just use colouring pens. It's absolutely fine, whatever you've got to hand. Now. Firstly, I'm going to create some seaweed shapes. Now these don't have to be perfect. Seaweed isn't perfect. And I'm just gonna do that. Do another one. Wow. Have you ever seen better looking seaweed? Just 
do one more. Obviously you'll be able to make it a bit neater at home because you're all fantastic artists and you're incredible at drawing because I've seen it all. So I've got some seaweed shapes, then maybe a little fish, and then maybe a shark. Now, what you can then do, if you do have oil pastels, you can use them or crayons. If you don't, don't worry. Now, I'm just going to go over a bit. I'll use a different green. Just a little bit around the edge. And I know what you're thinking. Mrs. Badley, what are you doing? You're making that into a right mess. But don't worry. As I always say, you've just got to trust me. So, we're going to go around there with some oil pastels. On that bit as well and then maybe with the fish I'll do him orange a bit like finding Nemo and then with the shark it's a lady shark I've decided she is going to be having a bit of grey on her like that now what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of paint on them. Now, I'm going to do the shark first. What we want to do is we want to just paint over it. And you'll see that the paint doesn't like those oil pastels. It separates from it. Now, don't worry about going over the lines because what we're going to be doing in a second is we're going to be cutting them out okay so we're just going to be going over that like that all there doesn't matter if you go over the edges because we're going to be cutting it out obviously you guys can take a bit more time on this mrs badley's just getting it done a bit quicker and then you would finish that one as well. And then our little fish, we'll get him and he can be orange. But as you can see from that, the um, watercolour likes to separate from the oil pastel. So what we're going to do, we then cut these out. Right, then once you've cut them out, you're going to have your little bits and pieces. So you might have some seaweed, fish, a shark and then I did an octopus as well so you can do whatever underwater creatures you fancy maybe you could think about doing a submarine or something like that it's entirely up to you now what we will need is we will need to get our paper back so once the salt has done its job you will see that it's absorbed some of the moisture and there has been a reaction so it looks like there's speckledy bits on here now what you might need to do over a bin is just wipe the salt off um, just make sure that you're not chucking that on the floor at home because I don't think anyone will be wanting to hoover that up now we're going to create our C theme so you're going to need your glue you can use a prip stick or you can use PVA glue or whatever glue you have at home now if you just pop a bit of glue on the back, you can even have it so it's a 3D effect. So you don't have to make sure that all of the edges are glued down. So you might want to stick some seaweed there. And then a bit more. I've done it so that the edges will stick out of it. I'm even my, I might even, sorry, overlap them a little bit so it looks more realistic but obviously you can do whatever you fancy at home see that one a little fishy I think I'm gonna call him Dave so Dave can go there I'll call this one Finn Finn the shark And this one can be called Ursula. So, there we have it. 
we have our underwater sea effect and you have used oil pastels or wax or wax crayons. You've used salt to cause a chemical reaction and then you've created this lovely scene. Now, I hope you've enjoyed today. I certainly have. And all of year four are missing you. We hope that you're staying safe and I'm looking forward to next week's session. And you never know, if Mr. Anderson's not around, maybe I can use some glitter and get him back for that umbrella incident before Christmas. See you soon.